This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Special thanks to EA for allowing me to participate in this event. Hello my beautiful buddies and welcome to the channel for a speed build and uh, actually a conspiracy theory which is something different. Um, but first I'm going to introduce you to the build. This build is inspired off of Bonehilda and her coffin from the past games like the black and the red. Um, I built this for a vampire but it could be like replace the coffin to just have like um, a bed in it and you can put a witch in there or a normal sim. It isn't a haunted house lot, but I thought that it's also a teeny home, so it's two in one. You can put it as a teeny home if you don't want it to be haunted. You can like renovate it. I made it like old and creepy too, so it's a little bit of fun. Um, all the items inside are from the new pack, so yeah. Um, but you guys aren't here probably as much for the build, I guess I would say, as my theory because I shared my theory on Twitter and it got a lot of likes and things like that. So you guys are interested in this theory. Um, some of you guys don't think it's possible because of the timeline, but I did my homework and I definitely think it's possible and I'm going to tell you why. Um, but first, I guess I'm going to read to you the actual theory. So my theory is, is that um, Bonehilda is actually Kaylin Langerak. Um, after she was plotted, you know, like, like for murder by Nina, Dina, Mary Sue, and or Cassandra. Um, and I'm going to tell you the evidence on why I think this maybe could be true. Um, okay, I got my phone right here. That's where I'm reading my notes from. That's how you know it's serious. <laughs> um, so Bonehilda actually does not appear in The Sims 2. Um, which made me like think of this in the first place. It just randomly popped in my head one day. Um, and some information about Kaylin because I think the main storyline of like how this happened was in The Sims 2. Um, and Kaylin, Kaylin Langerak was like this like French maid in, um, she's in The Sims 2 and she's in The Sims 3. Um, I'm not sure if she's in The Sims 1, but she has her main storyline there and she is a mistress of Don Lothario and Daniel Pleasant. Um, if you want to know more about these characters in The Sims 2, I have a whole playlist of me rebuilding the characters and their backstories and their houses and I did a let's play on it so you guys can go and check it out. It's like based off of all Sims 2 lore. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the history lore goes from Sims 3 starts it um, and then it's Sims 1 and then Sims 2 of like the whole storyline. Um, and uh, Kaylin, like I said, was a mistress of, of Don and Daniel. And Don had a lot of lovers. He had Cassandra Goth, he had Nina, and he had Dina Calientes. Um, and he had Kaylin. Um, and Daniel was married, married to Mary Sue. And the thing is, is I just think. Kaylin knew too much because hear me out Daniel Pleasant's like whole like you know like persona in the like Pleasant family is the fact that they were like the perfect little family but she knew that they weren't they had a lot of issues so I think maybe that was why Mary Sue would would want to kill her I don't know like maybe she would like destroy the life that she built or something like that with him um and then I think um, Kaylin just flat out overheard from Don because if I believe, if my calculations are correct, I think Don preferred her over over Nina and Dina or and Cassandra. So maybe she found out a little bit too much information about what happened to Bella, like Bella's disappearance in The Sims 2. So therefore, she was like. <laughs> by like maybe Nina and Dina because she's like wait what are you doing because like we all know Don's a little bit stupid like he's he's a big old bimbo or <laughs> that's what he is really to be honest um and yeah I just think that's the reason why they would want to kill her Cassandra's the only one that I'm like eh she could have she couldn't have you know because like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't really feel like that was like Cassandra's really nature, but I definitely think Nina and Dina for sure would have killed her. Mary Sue, maybe. Um, and yeah, that's kind of like where like where I'm kind of at with this. But yeah, and some people are like, oh, the timeline doesn't make sense and things like that. But 
We know that The Sims 4 already is, an al is on its alternate timeline. So in the history of the lore and like all this backstory nonsense, like it doesn't fit on this. Like it's in its own little lane. Um, and I think maybe after The Sims 2, you know, like after she, you know, like died or whatever like that, she maybe knew too much. Um, I feel like my first thing is, is that she could have just time traveled herself like after someone either someone magical because we have magic and we have time travel in the sims like it's something that's happened before in past games um and then maybe she either found some time traveling witch or witch or something like that that like reanimated her or something like that and she time traveled because some people do think that you know, like, she could time travel Bone Hilda. It's, it's like, a, been a rumor. Um, but I think the more kind of, like, one that I personally believe is the fact that she could have made, like, a deal with the Grim Reaper. Because the Grim Reaper loves it to, like, grant life for your Sims for, like, a price. Like, in past games, you could either plea for him or even in Salmon, like, in Sims 2 console, you could even, like, do, like, this, like, fiddle challenge thing. You can bring him a death flower. There's so many things that you could do. And I think maybe he reanimated her as a skeleton and like maybe that was her price that like she could live life again but never as like the beautiful young woman that like all the men wanted for some reason. I don't know. Um, so maybe that was why. And also too, there's something that supports this theory because she um is a huge fan of the grim reaper in the sims one like she will shriek and she'll ask him for his autograph so maybe she feels this way because like he basically saved her life so that's her being like oh my god my hero kind of thing eh? Eh? <laughs> okay say with me um there's there could be two versions of bone hill in the sims one because i believe that there is like a janitor version too um but yeah i feel like that's the reason why she could could have like how this could have happened and then like eventually she would time travel or something like that with her coffin um she doesn't have a coffin in the sims 4 you can call her via seance table so aka they could have gotten rid of the evidence one of you guys pointed that out on twitter um also too bone hilda does not care of children does not care does not care for children and Kaylin's aspiration was the family aspiration um in the past so maybe an unfulfilled aspiration caused her to be in so much pain of her not being able to have her family of her own and she does not want to be reminded of it so maybe that's why she didn't take care of children i know in the sims 4 that one of her traits is family orientated which also makes sense even if it's on like an alternate timeline, it makes sense because that also corresponds to Kaylin's life goals. Um, and she could have changed her name to Bone Hilda for Witness Protection Program. Um, and if Bone Hilda is seen in by other maids in The Sims 3, they will often say, I will not let you turn me into the dead. Hence falling into the rumor of that Nina, Dina, uh, Mary Sue, and or Cassandra might have murdered her. Um, so yeah, it's it's quite it's quite a a lot to unpack. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it kind of makes sense. Of course, this is just for fun, but I think it just it just fits, you know. And I would make sense too that like from like the order of things, like if this main storyline happened to Sims two, it makes sense that you would go back to the order of things. Like she would start at three and then go to one because Sims three is when. Kaylin was a little girl, so maybe she went back in her past to think, like, how did this all lead to this? Like, what could I have done? What could I have been? Um, and yeah, I just, I find it really interesting, too. So, like, maybe the secret to, like, Bella's disappearance is actually in Kaylin. We don't know. And Bohilda. <laughs> but I just thought that was funny, and I just thought it was kind of just... It was just something funny because like so many people are thinking like wait how does how could that be true and i was just and i was like you know what i'll just talk about it in my review video for pair <laughs> not for like this paranormal back um and yeah so let's actually talk about the pack and what comes with it um now that you guys know my theory and things like that maybe inspires you to play this pack but it comes with a new career um as well as in some new build and buy items now the items i feel like are kind of art deco-y um and i really i really like some of them i think some of them are really nice one of my favorite items was like the little palm tree um excuse me um 
yeah so i think one of the my favorite items in this pack was the palm tree um and i really like the mini cow plant there is like a lot of cool like little things in this pack i really like um i haven't played around with the career yet but when i did like take my screenshots for this i did see that when you have a haunted house lot the specters or whatever like that which that was a good like little like hidden thing because like specters you know like all the specter <laughs> um yeah i noticed that they were like flowing around and give people moodlets and they actually made like the welcome wagon just like ran away and i was like thank gosh i did not want those guys there i was trying to take screenshots anyway so i really, really like them <laughs> um but yeah as i was saying um that this pack also did create some items and the created some items are really cute they're more like bohemian themed so like i like this pack but i think the cohesive of, of it is kind of interesting um but i like it for its clothes and i like the items too um with that said is i haven't played for the um the career so i don't really know about the career so much yet but um i think if you already have vampires and witches especially witches i feel like this would be like the perfect thing for you to get because i feel like there was kind of like no careers for like you know like your occult sims like they they could do normal careers but it just doesn't feel right you know um so i feel like that would especially be great for them um of course there's a new like medium skill or whatever like that that you can call sims from the dead and call bone hilda from the seance table i only played with it a little, little bit it was it was pretty cool so yeah i definitely think if you're someone who really likes occult gameplay this is definitely for you um otherwise if you're not a sim that really likes that i still say you would get a lot of use for it just because i like the build buy items as well as the um the create some items um the build and buy items like if you're more of a modern style person you're not gonna definitely not gonna get any modern style things in this pack at all um, sorry i got interrupted but yes as i was saying um if you're someone who likes more art deco and traditional style this is for you as far as you're a builder and things like that but if you're someone who prefers modern furniture you might not like it as much but there are still a lot of really cute decor items honestly i think it's worth it just for the creative sim alone um yeah i think that this pack is definitely a good one like i said if you if you like occult things and you'll definitely like this um otherwise yeah i guess just like do what's good for you you know i mean i like it i personally really like it. i thought it was something different than what we normally get i like the fact that we have a career um in it and i definitely think that like stuff packs that have like careers and like actual gameplay in it are definitely worth it to me um but yeah i'll be curious to see what you guys think down below um and yeah i'm really curious to see what new packs are in store for this year as well um the only thing i'm seeing that i kind of i don't know i just i don't know if i really like is the fact that they made bone hilda i think it's kind of a glitch i think it's maybe a glitch that bone hilda like if you take her skin off she's like a normal sim and she'll do things like skinny dip people are saying and things like that and i don't think she's supposed to do that so right now i think that's a glitch i think i hope um otherwise i haven't really seen anything really too out of the ordinary in the pack i'm really curious to see if the pack is like the sims 3 um ghostbuster career or if it's slightly different um because it seems like more psychic-y when you use a seance table um so i'm curious to see if it's like maybe like a mix of those two things or like what that's all about <laughs> um and it actually kind of makes me curious too to think about like what occult we could possibly get next um personally i'm kind of hoping for 
fairies, even though I think werewolves would be next. <laughs> um, just because I thought the fairies in The Sims 3 were so freaking cute. They can have the zombies. I don't want the zombies. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else found the zombies really annoying in The Sims 3, but I definitely found them really annoying. Um, I'm kind of a little disappointed though that mermaids didn't really get as much of an impact um, in the occult world, I guess, as much as like witches and, and vampires did. I feel like they could have done some really cool stuff with mermaids. Um, I still like them though. They're still really cool. I just feel like sometimes you forget that they're there. <laughs> um, yeah. And I'll, as you can see too, like I had some like little cute touches. Like that hand is like, I don't know, for like magical shit to happen. Um, but I put it on the ground because I'm like, oh, it looks like a zombie hand. Like, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> My eyes, it looks so dead when I say that. Anyway, if you like this build, I will put it on the gallery for you um, when this comes out. And thank you guys also so much for watching. Stay tuned soon for some more builds and more fun on the channel. Um, because we're always growing and we're always doing new things. Um, and I love you guys also so much. Bye, bye, bye. Mwah. I don't want to let you down It's the only thing I think about every morning You know my life ain't figured out But I promise if you stick around it'll never get boring We'll spend nights with cheap red wine Look at flats even though we can't afford them I don't want to let you down I don't want to lose you now